Welcome to this week's edition of Fishing with Uncle Rick. This week we're in beautiful Pinecrest Lake, located in Pinecrest, California. And there's lots of family activities, including boating, swimming, and of course, fishing. We're here this week with two young men who have never fished in their entire lives. That's correct. They've never fished before. And Uncle Rick's going to show them the basics. So jump aboard. And let's do another rendition of Fishing with Uncle Rick. What we're going to do here now is I showed Connor how to do the, the Lupo knot. We're going to do it. Today we're going to observe the uh, sliding sinker rule. What that does is the weight goes to the bottom and the extra line you put on it. See there, mate? The extra line you put on it, this much here, about two feet. The, the hook will float because the power bait floats about two feet from the bottom. Hopefully that's where the fish are, about two feet from the bottom. So we're gonna apply this to the swivel over here and we're gonna come back to you in a minute. So Smith, this is your first day? Oh uh, yeah. Um, you learned anything from Rick so far? Not to throw your dad into the water. Oh, uh, what about casting? Casting, make sure nobody's behind you. Ah, uh, so you been practicing? Dead. Yeah. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Anything else? Are you ready to get some? Uh-huh. The big one? Yeah, All right. maybe. You're so, on. Craig, would you like to come over here and show the folks how we do the uh, the Lupo knot? I'm going to help you film this so they can rewatch it later and understand that. First of all, that's a snap and swivel. Okay, you, uh, that snaps out. You put your hook on there. So first thing you do is make, like Connor says, a regular shoe tie knot one time. Got that? Then. You twist this, so you get about three turns, two, three, four turns, doesn't matter as long as there's a couple in there. And you go back through this loop here, grab that, see that there? Now when you catch a fish, if it's big enough, it'll break the line, it won't come undone. So here's your sliding sinker, it slides up and down, when this goes to the bottom, your hook will be here, and it'll be floating two feet from the bottom. Okay? Come back, Lothi. Maybe you want to show them how to do the Lupo knot? Hook, hook goes on the bottom of the snap and swivel. And any of this excess stuff, I don't know if you can see that or not, the fish sense that. They can feel it. So you might want to get a, a knife or a pair of Lupo pliers. Same, same thing as my nose. So think about nose. We're gonna bait the hook now with shiny power bait. Be right back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we have here is Berkeley power bait. See the nice colors in there? It's got little speckles in there so the fish can see it. Okay, you just get a little dab on your finger. Hold that, son. Put it in your hand like that, and you make a little ball. Get your hook, hold your hook, just press your hook into it. Just, it's like holding a baby bird. Not too hard, not too soft. Doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it's covering the hook so the fish can't see it. And there you have it, now we're ready to go. One, one, one pull in, we're gonna set Smith up. And, okay, you ready to cast? Okay. And where I said, you need to stand back, Smith. Aiming out that big mountain out. Oh boy. Let him go. Hey. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Give me five. Yeah. Now, oh, <laughs> I didn't know you guys were there. Now, this is what we're going to do. Got a little pole holder here. And we're gonna tighten this thing up until, see that slack in the line there? See the slack in the line? You just look, look at me. You get it reeling in, because now this, this sinker is now going to the bottom, it's settling in. 
You just gotta do it really lightly. Okay, see how it's tight now? Look at the tip of the pole. I see it. See it? It's that little white thing. Okay, right there. Now, what you're gonna do, if I were you, and it's your first time, I wouldn't put it in the pole holder. You're gonna sit there and hold it. You want to put your finger, your fingers together on the line. And you just sit here and you wait until you feel something tugging at it. Then what are you gonna do? When you feel something tugging at it, you're gonna go, Uncle Rick, come here. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna go set up Smith's pole now. You just hang on to that pole. Here's some of the, that Berkeley Power Bait out right there. Oh, I love that. That's good. Well, after removing the power bait from Uncle Rick's lip, he taught Smith how to fish, cast, and here's the outcome. Very own trout. First fish he'll brag about for years. Unlucky for him, we have video evidence of the exact size of the fish, so the story can't get any bigger. But he's pretty proud. Showed it to everybody that came by the campsite that weekend. Well, thanks for watching Fishing with Uncle Rick. Brought to you by Berkeley Power Bait. Till next week, stay hooked.